Hey guys, welcome to another video for the lovely Pocophone F1. Recently, we had released a video on, you know, the gaming performance of HN Gaming ROM with a certain kernel and certain thermals. And a lot of you got excited that you wanted to install this on your phone and you wanted me to make a video on how to do it. So here we have it with all the files, a step-by-step -step install guide on how to install HN Gaming 11.0.7 Reborn Stable. That's, you know, a mouthful of a name, but the, the ROM is amazing. It performs great. Uh, yeah so the review will come later but in today's video we're going to do a install a quick install and preview so before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community instagram facebook twitter you can join us there and have a lot of fun last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, what all will you need? You will of course need a Pocophone F1 with more than 50% battery. It should have an unlocked bootloader and preferably Orange Fox recovery installed. You can use any other TWRP, it's up to you, but I prefer Orange Fox on all the three devices, K20 Pro, Poco X2 and Poco F1. So yes, Orange Fox is doing a great job. Now, because this is a MIUI based ROM, you don't really need a firmware file, but let me show you the files that we will need one by one. Now, quick disclaimer over here, this ROM does come pre-rooted. So the moment you install the ROM, you will have access to Majisk Manager. You can go ahead and update Majisk to the latest 22 version. That is completely your call, but it works fine even with the old 21.4 or whatever version is pre-installed in this particular ROM. Now the files that we will need of course are HN Gaming ROM Reborn 11.0.7 this is the one and then disable DM Verity that is the DFE file we will need the Revex Beta 3 thermals and we will need this module to unlock 90 FPS. Now what this will actually do is it will install the ROM and by the time we're done with this video we will have the ROM installed which is overclocked your screen screen to 66 hertz so let me actually show you how that works so if we actually go to google chrome i think i already have there you go you do see 66 hertz so 66 fps and because we will be enabling the 90 fps module the game will always try to push the maximum amount of fps and most of the times even in hot drops like Xenoc bootcamp and stuff you will have more than 50 to 55 fps which will make sure there is no lag no choppiness and i am talking about smooth extreme so we will do a live stream on this but for now let's see how to install it so as i said you need all these things and uh, you can use a pen drive as a otg and you can wipe everything but in this video we're going to show you how to format data then how to wipe everything and then how to install it so first things first let's actually go ahead and boot into orange fox so let's go to recovery and recovery again beauty of a custom rom you have a lot of additional features okay now once you're in orange fox follow the steps that i show on the screen now the reason we are doing this is because we want to have the cleanest and the most stable flash and make sure everything on your internal storage is backed up because we're going to destroy all the data so please make sure you did you back up your data so first things first we go over here we go to manage partition select data click on the tick mark click on format data type in yes and select the stick mark now i'm not doing it right now because i don't need to but you need to do this once you're done with that you need to go to the main screen go to this menu reboot and do a reboot to recovery which will take about five to ten seconds and the phone will come back to orange fox then you need to go to wipe so dalvik cache system vendor data and internal you need to wipe internal as well i'm not doing it right now so let's go ahead and do it now once you've wiped everything these files that you need you need to connect your phone to the computer if you are not using a usb otg pen drive then connect your phone to the computer and copy these files over to your phone which are listed in the description once you've copied to the internal storage go here and start the installation process so what we will do first is we'll flash hn gaming rom okay you see this is flashing now this is a miui based rom which is which means it is going to be about 2 to 2.5 gigabytes so the flashing of course will take time so wait patiently for that to happen all right now once the rom has been flashed you need to go ahead and flash dfe that is disable force encrypt there you go 
flash this to make sure your phone doesn't get encrypted. This is a critical step. Don't forget to do that. All right, so once you've flashed DFE, you just need to go ahead and reboot. So reboot system. Now, of course, this is a MIUI based ROM. So the first boot will take a while. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen of HN Gaming ROM, as you can see over here, right? So everything looks great. Now we do have the ROM installed and we do have Magisk Manager over here, as you can see. So you do have root access. Now, what we are left to do is we are left to install the custom kernel, which will overclock your screen to 66 Hertz. Now, just to make sure that we are actually doing that, let's actually do a UFO test over here because with the stock kernel that comes with this ROM, you will see that the screen is capped at 60 FPS. So let's do a UFO test. 40, 57, 55, 59, 60. So that's 60 FPS for you. Now let's actually go reboot to recovery over here. All right. Now we just need to flash the kernel from here. So AEX SESH 66. Okay. The kernel has been flashed. So reboot system now. Wait for the phone to boot into system again. Okay. So we have rebooted. Now let's go to settings, my device. Let's go to all specs over here. And let's look at the kernel. It says, says station. Okay. So let's open the UFO test again over here. So as you can see over here, now the screen is overclocked to 65, 66 Hertz. So that is good. Now the only thing that we are left to do is install PUBG mobile. But before we do that, we will actually go to Majisk. I have updated it to the latest one, right? So over here, you go to install from storage. All right. And here select show internal storage. Go to POCO F1. Now over here, you will have the RevX Beta 3 thermals. So you need to install those. All right, there you go. Installing thermals package, setting permissions. It will ask you to reboot. But before we reboot, we will actually go ahead and install PUBG Mobile over here. So there is a video that I've made on this in which you just need to go to PUBG Mobile dot live. Slash APK download immediately. It's downloading the PUBG mobile APK. All right, let's wait for it to download and then we will install it. Once PUBG is installed and we have entered the game, what we will do is we will actually go ahead and install the unlock 90 FPS module. Now, with that, what will happen is it will unlock 90 FPS and then when we reboot, we can go ahead and have an amazing, amazing gaming experience. So let's wait for PUBG to download and install and then we can get back. All right, so now as you can see, we have installed PUBG Mobile and if we go to settings over here and graphics, you will see you have smooth extreme. You don't have the 90 FPS mode. So we will just about go ahead and complete the setup over here. Let's actually keep the phone straight because we are not gonna be in PUBG for this one. So what we're going to do now is first we will go ahead and install a FPS counter of our choice. There is an app called Perfmon which I got off Telegram, short form for performance monitor. I use that all the time, works fine for me with or without root access. But if you have issues, you can use root access. I will show you that after we are done installing the other modules. So remember, we have gone ahead and installed the thermals and let's wait for this app to install completely. Okay, done. Now, what we need to do here is we need to go to Majisk, okay? And then we need to go here, install from storage. And what we need is unlock 60 plus 90 FPS. Now we need to reboot, all right? So what we've done so far, basically in this particular video is we've installed the ROM, we've installed DFE, okay? And then we've rebooted after the initial setup, we've installed thermals, then we installed PUBG Mobile, we installed a FPS counter, and we also unlocked 90 FPS. So now it should constantly give us more than 60 FPS and we've also installed a custom kernel. This right about completes our setup, but just for you know showing it to you, I'm going to reboot completely, enable the performance monitor or the FPS monitor for that matter. There you go. So you do have, before we begin, let's actually make sure all the modules are in place. There you go, we have thermals and unlock 90 FPS, okay. And then we have 
perf mon or performance monitor go to settings disable everything just enable show fps and say show monitor allow display over other apps open it again show monitor there you go you do have the fps now let's launch pubg mobile over here now remember this time we are not using vpn we used vpn initially just to launch the game because uh, it, it's not working in india so we used vpn and how to do that you can watch my video on the channel of how to install pubg and stuff once you've got into the game like logged in and reached the main home screen then you're fine but nonetheless uh, you do see that it is uh, showing fps 60 right now that means we need to enable or you know activate the 90 fps mode so let's go to settings over here what's up with this button settings graphics see smooth extreme all right so we are in the game in pubg mobile and as you can see it is constantly giving uh, you know around 60 fps if you can see over here right it's constantly giving 60 fps it is rock solid it is butter smooth and there will be situations wherein it will go above 60 fps as well so you know that's the setup for hn gaming rom with everything else and as you can see even while we are jumping it is it is constantly staying at 60 fps it's going to 61 and there will be instances wherein it might go to 65 66 as well but this gives rock solid performance wait for our live stream let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye Oh, 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 oh,